Hi, so let's talk a little bit about markup language and TiddlyWiki. Um, if you haven't really worked with um, HTML before and uh, or markup languages in general, this might be a little foreign to you, but that's, uh, that's okay because when you understand the basic fundamentals of markup language and how TiddlyWiki uses it, uh, you're going to be a lot more productive in how you take notes in TiddlyWiki. Um, so let's take a look at that real quick. So the first thing that you would do is go ahead and create a new tiddler and hit this button that says show preview. And what that does is it actually creates a little preview box of what you're doing. So I've just added a title. This is some text. You know, th this is a new line. So what I've done is I've created a title here. And let's say that I want to add um, some emphasis to that title. I do that by adding an exclamation point. By adding that banger, I'm giving emphasis to this title. Adding another one takes makes a little less emphasis, and uh, I can make it small as I want. So uh, this is a uh, markup language. It's uh, the, when you add extra characters um, that don't show up in the um, in the output here. And uh, this doesn't show up here, but it gets translated, and it's telling TiddlyWiki to do something else with it. Another thing that uh, you might like to do is add a line break. You do that by just adding three hyphens. And this is our original Tiddler, but as you can see here, we have a nice line break, and we can use to kind of start formatting some data here. This isn't meant to be like a WordPress or you know a nice, a nice word processing software here. This is just meant to give you some extra tools so that you can format um, some of the notes that you're doing and make them a little bit more legible. Um, one thing that I, you'll notice here, though, is that there was no line break here, but there is a line break here. That's because if you don't double break it, you won't notice the line break. It's just something that TiddlyWiki does. You just have to keep in mind. Um, I don't necessarily get into that too much. Um, I, I kind of wish it would just do the line breaks as they were, but it does have a way around that. You do that by adding three quotation, uh, double quotation marks together. And by encapsulating this text in three quotation marks, it's going to read all the line marks, uh, the line breaks as, as, as I add them. Very nice. So just keep in mind, I use this a lot. It's just a nice way that, you know, if, if I'm going to start typing some notes, I'll add those at the beginning. That way I know that all of my line breaks are going to show. And uh, another way that you can do a line break if you weren't using, um, you know, if you weren't using this method is by actually adding an HTML line break. But hey, let's, take, let's take a look at that for a minute. Maybe I want to display this line break. Let's say that I'm taking some notes about coding and I want this line break code to show. Well, anytime you're displaying code, you can do that by adding three uh, accent marks and, and so instead of the double quotes, you're adding three accent marks. It's the key next to the one on you know, an Americanized keyboard. But uh, what it does is it makes this box. And anything you type in that box um, is going to show exactly. So you, if you're writing code, every bit of it's going to show. And it's just a nice way to present code. I use that a lot, too. Another feature that you might want to do is, uh, let's say that uh, you have some text that you wanted to bold. You can do that by adding uh, you know, two, uh, ex uh, uh, two um, apostrophes. You wrap this text in two apostrophes, and you can see it's bolded it. So there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, to, uh, let's say we wanted to, keep, uh, to create a list. You do that by adding a star in front of the item. It creates a bullet. This is the first line, uh, first item. This is second and third. I've just created these bullets here. And uh, you can even uh, create uh, sub 
uh, bought uh, sub item. So, hey, this is just a really nice way for you to create lists and uh, super simple, super uh, quick, and uh, not really have to work with a lot of the word processing type features that uh, um, you're used to seeing. But once you get the hang of this, it's it's uh, it's really easy to use. And uh, uh, if you want to know more about the, uh, the markup language, what I, I suggest that you do is uh, go to, uh, go to uh, uh, Google and type in, um, type in something like a, a tiddly wiki uh, markup cheat sheet. Cheat sheet's your buzzword. What that's going to do when you hit enter is that uh, you're going to get several uh, cheat sheets that people have put together where you, it's all on, all the markup is like on one or two pages. You print those out and you, uh, you can use that as a reference tool as uh, you're using TiddlyWiki. But once you get the hang of it, um, you'll remember um, some of the markup that you use a lot and you'll uh, soon cast it aside. But uh, down, uh, downloading a cheat sheet and printing it out will be a lot of help to you too.